plays a pivotal role in the continued existence of Earth and its inhabitants. Yet despite its billion years of age, the full extent of the sun's influence on our planet remains a mystery. The chaotic nature of its makeup can harm as much as it protects. A ball of raging fire and magnetic energy, the sun is constantly in turmoil, expelling energy in the form of solar flares, storms, and significant releases known as coronal mass ejections. It is well documented that these releases have an impact on the Earth, causing environmental changes, system interruptions, and beyond. Scientists theorize that if such an event were to occur, the effects of the solar storm would have much more far-reaching, damaging, and deadly consequences. Again? I don't think I can go. She saw the message and she's not letting me go. God, she's so lame. I know. It's not fair. Hey! What did I tell you kids about partying out here? We're not even partying. I don't want to hear it. I want you to clean all this up and get out of here. What are you, a mall cop? Dispatch, it's all good. It's just a bunch of kids. I'm 20. Dispatch, hello? Get a hustle on, huh? In the future, don't treat private property like your personal playground. What's your issue? Ow, ow. <laughs> what? Wasn't me? Hmm. Yesterday, an earthquake of 6.2 magnitude struck the Northern California areas. Though unconfirmed at the time, unusual volcanic activity has been reported in the area as well. Though whether it is linked to the earthquake or not remains to be seen. Scientific authorities maintain that it is only a coincidence that a major CME event was observed on the sun. If the numbers out of the NCEI are correct, then that volcanic eruption up north is just the beginning. The NOAA ratings are off the chart. We have extremely high H-alpha emissions and X-ray radiation coming in in intense numbers. Meredith, you just need to take a second and gather yourself. <sighs> Which reminds me, I should take the radiation index. Look, you know that I'm in agreement with you. A solar superstorm of this magnitude has never been recorded in the whole of human history. There are things yet that we don't know. True. But we do know that solar flares cause environmental disturbances. And we're not just talking about flares here. We're also talking about coronal mass ejections, OK? CMEs. And if there's a strong enough sequence of CMEs, the resultant magnetic plasma could cause unprecedented disturbances, OK? Earthquakes, flooding, volcanic eruptions, possibly more, and, and maybe all at once. OK, a lot of lives are on the line here. And the mayor needs this data immediately. Look, Meredith, you're a good scientist, and your dissertation on CMEs provides strong theories. But you and I both know that untested research on a page, it's just not enough. 
These are big allegations, and the government will respond to clout. If you could just wait for Dr. Rigney to get here from the university, then maybe- We could be on the verge of an apocalyptic event, okay? An ELE, and you want to wait on someone with tenure. We could start looking like World War III out there and soon, and you know I'm right. Mom? Brand, I gotta go. Meredith, wait. Is, is something bad happening? No, just some colleagues and I are concerned about some things that are happening, but we're handling it. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Kirby? Oh. Kirby, what did you do with the toaster? What's going on? I was gonna make toast, but it looks like Kirby got here first. Kirby. Kirby! What? Take off your video game and pay attention. Mom, I've told you a hundred times it's not a video game. It's called a flight simulator. Okay, whatever. Why did you take apart the toaster? Well, it had a hum. I don't have time for this today. Would you put it back together, please? Your father needs toast. Morning. Good morning. Did you get any sleep last night? No, not really. This solar flare situation isn't going anywhere. This is really serious, too. We need to really think about the safety of other people and the safety of our own family. I set up a meeting with the mayor this morning and I'm hoping she sounds the alarm. Do you think she'll listen? Well, she has to. I mean, if a precursor flare can cause a volcanic eruption, just imagine what a major solar event will do, and I'm talking in the next few days. Well, in that case, I think we'll need more than the mayor's help. I should call Cook. I was afraid you would say that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm not excited about it either, but I'm not in the military anymore. I can't pull rank. Even though him and I didn't part on the best of terms, if he can help, we have to explore that option. I guess you're right. No, you're right. Thank you. No, of course. It's the least I could do if it's going to be as bad as you think. <laughs> yeah. So where do we evacuate to? I say the caves. The caves? Yeah. The northern caves from our hike last summer? Yes, exactly those. The natural cave formations up in the mountain range just north of the city above the forest. And if you'll remember from our trip, they also housed the abandoned military bunker built in World War II just in case there was a mainland attack. So the safety of the bunker combined with the elevation of the cave, that would save us from any type of flooding. And they're also embedded in the rock which has survived centuries on a fault line. It's really the perfect place. Yeah, and if the bunkers are military, Cook could definitely be an asset. Okay. Well, I think that we should make it our family evacuation plan that if anything starts to look bad, we head straight for the caves. You guys heard her. If that's what we have to do, that's what we do. Yeah, and hopefully other people will listen to me and we can save some other families too. What is it? Oh, it's just the office, usual mumbo jumbo. You know, if you want me to blow this off, I can do that. No, actually, I think that we should all just go about our normal day. You sure? Yeah. I mean, despite the eruption up north, the CMEs are probably still building and it's gonna take them a while before they flare. So, you know, and there's always a chance. I could be wrong. <laughs> Do you think that it could all just be a mistake and blow over? I hope so, baby. I really hope so. You know what, why don't I take you over to the Jensen's today and you just enjoy the afternoon with your friend? Yeah. God. Okay, I need to get to work before this family has problems of a different kind. Okay. Plus, if I leave now, I can still get my drive through. Drive through? Hey, you said for us to go about our day, and I'm still getting my breakfast. Besides, what's the Fisher family motto? Never give up! Never give up. That's right. Maybe it'll blow over. Maybe. That's okay, Mom. I believe in you. I have faith in science. Me too, Kirby. Me too. I just hope my faith is misplaced this time. Look, Sullivan, I can't be taking calls from some...
civilians. I've got a unit to run. I'm not exactly thrilled about this either, Cook, but if you just put aside our personal issues for a moment, this is a matter of utmost importance. Personal issues? There are no personal issues, Fisher. It's a soldier's prerogative to forgive and forget, and I've chosen to do neither. But what's between you and me is ancient history. Meredith made her choice, and I've moved on. Yeah? If that's true, why'd you try to make a move on my wife last summer when we saw you? All right, goodbye, Fisher. No, wait. No, no. Cook! Cook! Give me one reason why I should. You forfeited your rights to my attention when you left the military for civilian life. Because a lot of lives could be in danger. You got two minutes. So I'm taking Sarah over to the Jensen's and then I'm headed to City Hall. You can come with me if you'd like. Yeah, sounds like a thrill a minute, but I'm actually going over to Jared's to play video games for a bit. And? And then finish fixing the toaster? Good answer. All right, stay in the neighborhood just in case, okay? And stay out of trouble. Look, Sullivan, we're well aware of the situation upstate. We've consulted with several army scientists and have assured us that there's no cause for concern. Yeah, I know how the brass is thinking, Cook. But Meredith truly believes this is a clear and present danger. And if she's right, a lot of lives could be on the line. Look, my wife's not some conspiracy nut. She's a vetted scientist and I believe her. You used to, too. That's not fair. Sullivan, you know it. But right now, my superiors don't see a cause for concern. My hands are tight on this, and you know that. Cook, look. Don't make this personal. I'm not. And I suggest that you do the same. Look, in the meantime, I'll place a call to FEMA and the NSA to see if they can investigate further. But if they don't see that there's a cause for concern, then my involvement ends there. Thank you, Cook, for even taking the time. I'm sorry, Sola. Me too. Let's go. For the mayor's office, I have an appointment with her today. I'm Patricia, I'm the mayor's assistant. Oh, good. You said you have uh, an appointment? Yes, uh, my name is Meredith Fisher. The scientist. Yes, that's me. Yeah. Unfortunately, the mayor stepped out, so she's not in her office at the moment. What, wait, when will she be back? This is a very important. I don't know what time she will be back, ma'am. I don't think you understand. This is a very urgent matter. We are literally talking about life or death here. I gotta know this audit and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm slow. Yeah, one day shipping. Yeah. One day shipping. 
Morning, Natalie. Sure. Oh, hi, Solomon. How are you? Good. By the way, Stevenson's going crazy today. Of course he is. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Did you feel that?
stop this bleeding. <laughs> Let's pull the glass out. I try to hold steel for me. Okay. One more. On three. One, two. Three. Ah! Got it. Okay. Hand. Pressure. What was that? This first aid skills when you were overseas? Actually, uh, lifeguard training when I was 16. You wouldn't believe how many diving board accidents there are. <laughs> Military just put my skills to good use. Well, regardless, thank you. house. Oh, you should go get her. Huh? Your daughter. You're worried. That Stevenson clean up the mess for us. Go. Are you okay? Go. Bigger things to worry about than the toaster. Right. Come on. Come on. Are you okay? Uh, All right. So what's going on out there? Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, flooding. We've never seen a super solo storm on this magnitude before. Okay. So what? What? So what does that mean? Like, like the world's ending or something? No. It's a solar storm, and just like any other storm, it will pass. But it's just going to do a lot of destruction in the meantime, right? And a lot of people in some great danger. My calculations say in about five hours a storm will break, but that's five hours. We cannot stay exposed, all right? We've got to keep moving if we want a fighting chance. Yeah, okay, but what about Dad and Sarah? Well, we can't wait here. The house is way too unsafe, all right? And outside's not much yeah. better, but we've got to keep moving, all right? Listen, your father, he knows the plan, all right? And we're just going to have to hope that he and Sarah are okay, all right? Now go get what you need quickly and get to the car. Now we've got to go. Where are we going right now? We're going to the Jensen's to see if your sister is still there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay.
never do. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. What are we supposed to do if something like that happens again? Hey, this is your dad you're talking about. All right, you remember the campy trip when we forgot the lighter for the fire? You remember that? And how I still made the fire work with the sticks, even though you doubted it would happen. This is just like that. Look, hey, we just need to be resourceful and clever, and we'll make it. on the surface of the sun. Scientists confirm that the flare will likely affect the Earth in a matter of hours, leading to more, if not increased, environmental and atmospheric disturbances. means that the coronal mass ejections on the sun, they're intensifying. So, so what does that mean? Flooding? More earthquakes? Yeah. Which is exactly why we need to get to the safety of the caves as soon as possible. <sighs> Do you think we'll even make it?
Why are we with containment and evac? Uh, we're barely making a dent, sir. The waves on the tsunami are down, but the water keeps surging in. It's like high tide, but it won't stop. And what kind of damage is that causing? Uh, it's hard to say, sir. Uh, the water's channeling into urban areas, so right. it's bad. Just keep cleaning the area as best as you can. Radio's still on the blink, so we have to go with emergency protocol. Assign a soldier from each unit to serve as a messenger go-between and initiate evac plans. Keep channeling the civilians out of the metropolitan areas. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, we've also initiated the base's backup generators to multiple lines in accordance with the unit's blackout protocol so we can monitor any activity on live wires. Very good. Sir? Yes, Diaz. Is it true there are volcanoes erupting around the city? <sighs> One thing at a time, Diaz. One thing at a time. Are we clear of the danger? Oh, whether we are or we aren't, we keep pushing ahead. We don't have any other choice. Why is this happening? I don't know, sweetheart. Uh, science is your mom and Kirby's department. Near as I can tell, it's it has something to do with storms on the sun disrupting our atmosphere or something like that. It's, it's making the weather go crazy. Is it permanent? No. Uh. Nah, sweetie, storm subside. We just gotta get through it. Shouldn't we have waited for Mom and Kirby? No. No, kid, it wouldn't have been smart to stay put. The only way to keep in front of this thing is to keep moving through the woods, okay? I will reconnect with them on the outskirts, on the other side of the city. The caves are just beyond that.
need to do everything we can to do the same. Okay? What do you mean? Sarah's in good hands with your dad, and you're with me, and there's gonna be a lot of people out there that aren't gonna be so lucky. We need to help as many of them evacuate as possible. We can't do it alone. Come on. Do you think there's a way around it up ahead somewhere? Uh, there's no telling. I mean, it's possible, but there's no telling how long it takes to get there. Look, every minute we're outside, we're exposed to danger. We just can't risk it. Well, you can't swim over it. Oh, you're right. We gotta get across, but we ain't swimming. So how? I got an idea. I don't think you're gonna like it.
That bad, huh? Okay, okay, put your hand. Put some pressure there, okay? Okay. Okay. Give me a first aid. I'm afraid if we move her now, she's gonna bleed out in a matter of minutes. She's lost so much blood. I don't even know how she's conscious right now. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We gotta get her out of here! Bye. should come with us. You guys go without me. I don't want to leave her here. Not in this place. Walter Gibbs, that's nonsense and you know it. My sister didn't die so you could die. Marsha wanted you to live. You want to do something for her? You do this. I can't argue with that. Okay. Where are we headed? There's a military base just a few miles from here. My husband's old unit is there. I think they can help us evacuate to this military bunker up in the northern caves just outside the city. I think we'll be safe there. Are you sure these caves could protect us? Yes. Hey, my mom was the only one that knew this was gonna happen, okay? She tried to warn everyone, but no one listened. She's trying to protect us. No, 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 the boy's right. At least you're offering up a solution. It's better than the alternative. Lead the way. Let's get in the car. Did you do a lot of this survival stuff in the military? Yeah. They prepared us for a lot, but this is a pretty unique circumstance. Phone lines. I have an idea, let's go. Come on. Take a 
sneak peek. See if the ground is stable. Okay. Surviving the end of the world works up a bit of an appetite. <laughs> what would you pick? Me? A burrito, I guess. A burrito? Why a burrito? <laughs> so I could uh, keep walking while I eat. And I really love guacamole. Ew. <laughs> How about you? Cake. Cake? Cake's not a meal. Uh I almost died of smoke inhalation, got blown up, and drowned in a flood. I want cake. <laughs> cake it is. Got wisdom beyond your years, kiddo. So you're a scientist? Yeah. And your husband's in the military? He was. He's retired now. Army man, huh? Brains, Mary's brawn. That's sexy. I've always been fond of the military. Type. My grandmother served as a switchboard operator in World War II. When I was growing up, she would take me to the historical society gatherings where her cronies would uh, play cards and reminisce. Yeah. She told me a lot of sad stories, but also a lot of camaraderie. It was inspiring. She told me all about the old switchboards. I was fascinated. I soaked it up like a sponge. I bet you really appreciated all your interest. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it didn't seem to be broken. How can you tell? Well, if I remember my biology text correctly, there'd be a lot more inflammation. Here, let me fashion a splint out of some of my tools. There. Yeah, we're pretty proud of it. When he's not taking apart our television or setting the wallpaper on fire with a Bunsen burner. <laughs> well, the nice thing about recent circumstances is he's gonna know otherwise. Is he your only one? No. No, I have a daughter too. We were supposed to meet when everything started. How? How are you so calm? What do you mean? We have no means of communication. We have no idea when the next explosion's coming or if the ground is gonna eat us up. Make no mistake. I'm terrified. What can I do? The only certainty I have to hold on to is hope. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. For him. that the sun is causing all this, huh? Resisting the solar radiation. 
I sure hope so, kiddo. I really, truly do. Me too. Look, your mom is tough, all right? Look, she's not a quitter. She's not gonna give up. All right, we have to imagine wherever she's at right now, she's charging ahead. It's just who she is. Now look, I might be the soldier in the family, but that woman, she's a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. So if mom's not gonna give up, we can't either. Okay? Okay? Okay. All right. gentlemen. I must confess, it's an unexpected but welcome surprise to see you, Meredith. Did you connect with Sullivan earlier? So did you talk to him? I did. We spoke just before communications went down. Did he tell you that he was coming here? No. No. Hopefully he and Sarah are someplace safe. It was my decision to come here. Why did you want to come here? Storms. I know what's causing them and why there is nothing we could do about what's going on out there, I think I know a place where we can go, where we can potentially make it through. Right, there wasn't any way anyone could have predicted the severity of these storms. They are far more devastating than I could have ever imagined. It's pretty severe, and as far as we can tell, this entire thing has gone. Global. Yes. Yeah, this is gonna be the largest solar superstorm ever recorded. But the size of the storm doesn't matter. Essentially, it's just a storm, okay, and storms all right, all we have to do is make it to the other side, and I think I have the perfect shelter for us. We need to migrate as many people as possible to the abandoned military bunkers in the Northern Caves. And with any luck, Sullivan and Sarah are already there. So what is this place? Good question. Oh. 
I'll be. Maybe our luck is starting to turn around. What is it? How's your head? Woozy. A little disjointed. You okay? I don't mean to interrupt. What's going on? We're looking at some maps, trying to find a potential route up north. We could use some insight. Absolutely. What do you got? Private okay. So the idea is for us to find a route that's least likely to be infringed upon by the natural disasters. As you know, given the circumstances, least likely is still pretty damn deadly. Okay, um, well, the topography through here still lends itself to flooding water or lava alike. So, I think you're gonna have to cut this way. Huh. You certain? Well, as certain as I can be in this situation, which isn't very. Honestly, the bunker idea, I was inspired. Quite frankly, I'm a little bit ashamed that I think about that myself. But, can we be certain that the caves will give us the protection that we need? Well, the caves have survived the millennia of Earth's inclement weather, and they're naturally forged out of stone, and they're at a high enough elevation that they're unaffected by the flooding, and once you're inside, you're protected from the lightning, and that combined with the security of a bunker, honestly, I really think it's the only chance we've got. It's just uh, getting there that's the problem. So this is the place you were looking for? And what are you doing? Looking for an unbroken line. If this is a phone company, why don't we just call someone? Most of the standard telephone lines are getting solar interference. But if I can find an unbroken line, I might be able to send a telegraph. A telegraph? Yeah, long ago before the days of cell phones and apps, people used to use something called telegraphs to communicate over great distances. I know what that is, Dad. It's the thing with the wires, the codes. That's right. Morse code. Dots and dashes that stood for different letters. That's right. Seems complicated, though. Actually, it's... Okay, it is. Telegraphs don't require the use of PST and signals, which is what the solar flares are interrupting. And there's an emergency backup protocol that some military units use when the comms go out. They have the generator hooked up to live wires in the event that someone happens to try to communicate the old fashioned way. Right. I'm gonna try to send a message and hope that someone thought or remembered to do that. Hopefully, they'll come and get us. You think this will work? <sighs> we had no other choice. You heard it out there. No way we're gonna get to the caves through that on our own. This is our chance to call for help. I have to take it. Do you think someone's listening? Sergeant, there is no time. Clear the station. We gotta go now. Sir, it's a pattern. Pattern? Sounds like Morse code. Here, move. It's Fisher. What? 
message is coming in too wild and fast. I, I, does anyone... Allow me, Commander. Switchboard, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Get your husband all right. He's at an old phone office near the woods on the city's outskirts. Okay, great. Well, we know where he is, and now we can go save him, right? Okay. Mom? Sarah, I... I don't know. Dad? Dad? Daddy, get up! Get up, Dad! Dad, come on! Get up! Come on, Daddy! Dad, you're fine! Get up, come on! Okay. Come on, Dad, you're fine! out there and you know he's alive so I've got to go get him. Look, I understand. I do. But the entire world is literally falling down around us. What can one person do against all of this? Well, I got to try, right? I'm sorry. I got to get my men to safety. Come with us, I please. Understand. No, no. You know I can't do that. You know how I feel about you, Meredith. Oh, God. I've always felt about you. Look, we don't have very much time. Let me finish. You're a remarkable woman, Meredith. And I'm sorry, it's hard for a soldier to admit when he's lost the battle. Sullivan is a great officer. And he's a good man. And he's lucky to have you. You guys were lucky to have each other. I'm just sorry that I let my own jealousy come in the way of our friendship. For all of us. Okay. Listen, there's a truck on the back lot. They say it's out of commission, but you're more than welcome to give it a try. Okay. I just wish you were coming with us. You can't. Okay.
telegraph. Oh. I don't know, baby. It's really bad out there. We have to assume no one hurt us. So, we're alone? No. No, 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 no. We have each other. Trucks. Oh. oh wow! <sighs> oh my, this is great, Kirby. <sighs> but I know a lot about those. Mom, come on. No. Get out. Kirby, Let's no. go. Come on, Mom. Yes. No, Kirby. This is not one of your video games. I told you it's not a video game. <sighs> Just get in and trust me, please.
Just a little bit further. Look, just a little further, okay? Come on, we get to the edge of the city, we clear these fallen buildings. Right now, look, I know it's a long shot. I know it, but the trees, the trees leading up to the cave, that's your only chance of coverage, okay? Okay? Come on. Come on. I can't. It hurts. I'm breathing too much smoke. Honey, I need you to go just a little bit longer, okay? Just a little further. We just gotta get closer to the city.
Observatory confirmed that the solar storm is waning, showing signs that it will subside. Atmospheric conditions are expected to return to normal, and authorities confirm that the electrical and communications infrastructure should be restored within a matter of months. Start over, I guess. 